Seeds, they're a great way to save a ton of money when growing a garden. And you can also get some incredible varieties when buying from seed compared to buying seedlings at the nursery. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about some of the greatest online resources for you guys to go to to buy your seeds. Now, when doing some research earlier this year on uh, seeds, I have found a kind of disturbing trend. The videos that seemed to have the most views were seed unboxings or seed hauls from large big box stores. I myself, unfortunately, was included in that group. No, I didn't get a ton of views because it was a big box store, but I did go to a big box store to buy my seeds this year because of the current situation that we're in. There was a, there's a large delay on a lot of websites that are shipping seeds out, and I was unfortunately late to the game. I had to get some seeds, so I just went to Home Depot to buy my seeds. Um, through conversation with a lot of different viewers, they have requested that we do a seed online resource video. And that's exactly what I'm gonna give you guys today. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about why it's important to buy your seeds with these companies compared to the big box stores that a lot of people do. Apparently it's super popular on YouTube compared to other videos. You've got people unboxing baker seeds that get hardly any views, but then you have a video that's titled like Walmart Seed Hall, and it gets a ton of views. And I've, I'm sure it's because people are attracted to the fact that they can go to the store and uh, buy all of these cheap seeds. They've got instant gratification with that. But the thing that, the reason why I really don't recommend going to these big box stores is the variety of plants that you can have. When using these online resources, there's so many amazing heirloom varieties. I'll just cut to the chase with you guys. Heirloom varieties have such a great benefit when growing in the small at home garden. You have to use heirloom varieties if you want the greatest garden possible. Again, we were stuck in a sticky situation with everything going on this year, so I had to get these seeds and I couldn't get all the wonderful heirloom varieties that I wanted because all of these stores, uh, a lot of places are bought out and it's just taking too long for them to fulfill the orders. But this year we will be compiling, compiling a list and we will be ordering a ton of these heirloom varieties. Some really unique plants that I've never grown before and I'm really excited to try. So, I don't have to keep on blabbering on. Let's take a look at these websites. I'm going to show you uh, the top websites that I recommend. These are incredible websites that have great reviews and... All of the YouTubers also agree. The Gardeners Online, I have found to agree with these websites. And I made sure that I didn't put any websites on there that you guys are going to have a negative experience with. What I'm going to do is basically I'll just introduce each website. I'll go on the web page and I will show you guys how to get to the vegetable seed section of that website. And then we'll move on to the next one. I hope you guys enjoy this list. It's really a great one to have. And these resources are gonna be very helpful for you to guys to get any sort of vegetable variety that you can even think of. Between all of these websites that I've compiled here, um, you can pretty much guarantee you're able to get almost any vegetable imaginable. There is so many varieties, hundreds of varieties on here. Varieties that I've never even heard of, but people have been growing for a long, long time. Some incredible stuff, so let's go and take a look. All right, guys, I'm just going to blast through these websites real quick. I want to show you guys how to navigate the websites and get to the seeds because that's what most people have trouble with. So luckily, number one, True Leaf Market is very easy to get to. They have this top menu bar that has everything you need all right up there in one spot. You have your garden seeds, your herb seeds, flower seeds, cover crops, microgreens, sprout kits, 
sprouters and sprouting seeds, wheatgrass, all the supplies you might need, and then different categories of growing, and also some info about them and their company, as well as their seeds. True Leaf Market is our first website here. You guys are gonna love this one. The website is so easy to navigate, and it looks great. They also have an incredible selection of seeds, just as all of these websites do. Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds is rareseeds.com. This is our next website that I want to check out for you guys because the varieties that they have, again, they have some really incredible heirloom varieties that you just cannot find anywhere else. See, this very first page is going to be all of their featured varieties. And then if you go over here to shop, you see a drop down menu of vegetable seeds, flower seeds, herb seeds, even live plants, seed collections, tools, and their whole seed catalog that you can get shipped right to your own home if needed. Here we got free catalog. They also have some events and their About tab. So many great varieties on here. These are just the beet varieties alone. I happen to be looking at getting some new beets for this upcoming year. Mammoth Red Mangle Beet. Look at that monster. That is crazy. If, if I pulled that thing out of my garden, I don't know if my wife would even eat that. Incredible stuff. Great website, rareseeds.com. All right, let's move on to the next one. Next is somebody you might be familiar with. This is M.I. Gardner from right here on YouTube. He's got his special 99 cent seeds. Yes, I think he's got over 250 different varieties that are below a buck for a whole pack of seeds. Great stuff. And then he's also got a ton of incredible varieties on here. Uh, let's just look at the bean varieties for instance. One, two, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-four different varieties of beans. Just beans alone. One variety that I've been looking at getting is this Cherokee Trail of Tears bean. This is a pole bean, so it's a climbing bean. And um, I've heard a lot about trying to grow plants with as many different colors as possible because of the variety of, of terpenes and different vitamins and minerals that are in the plants attributed to those colors. So another great reason to try and get some of these more unique varieties like that one there. All right, so that's M.I. Gardener. Guys, go and check it out. The menu is very simple. You've got all of your seeds, berries, flowers, herbs, kits, vegetables, He's got the trifecta, he's got the trifecta fertilizer, garden care information, merchandise, soil amendments, and a special sales section right here. And of course, if you guys want more information on gardening, MI Gardener on YouTube, go and check him out. A great channel. On to the next one. We are just blasting through these websites. Again, I want to make this quick and easy for you guys. Southernexposure.com. They've got your vegetables, flowers, herbs, grains, cover crops, even mushrooms right there. Uh, under these herbs, they've got some great medicinal herbs. A whole list of them right here that you guys can go pick up to get creative in the garden with different medicinal uh, recipes you can create for your at-home medicinal needs. Um, let's take a look at some of their varieties here. Let's uh, shoot on carrots. Just carrots alone have eight different varieties. Now let's try and go on, uh, let's say squash. See how many varieties of squash. 15 different varieties of summer squash and zucchini. There we have it, guys. Again, hundreds of different varieties between all of these websites. Put together, it is an amazing resource. Let's move on to the next one. That is Nature and Nurture. Natureandnurtureseeds.com, seeds you can trust. They've got their a whole list of the categories of plants right down here. Amaranth, beans, beets, broccoli, cabbage, carrots, etc. Go down this whole list right here 
on an easy front menu for you guys. And then you can also scroll through everything else here. Check out tomatillos even. Tomatillos, ooh, those are yummy. Tomatoes, let's hop over to tomato varieties. As you can see, a ton of different varieties of tomatoes for you guys, as well as everything else. They've even got native plants. If you take a look at some of the native plants, which are great for the pollinators in your area, check those out. Great resource. Again, this is Nature and Nurture Seeds. Up next is Hudson Valley Seed Co. They've got this top menu right up on top of their page with everything you guys need. I will have to say that this website, Hudson Valley Seed, they have uh, probably some of the most unique varieties out of any of these websites. Um, these Painted Serpent Cucumbers, aka Armenian Cucumbers, those I've heard a lot about, seen a lot of videos on those, something I'm looking, uh, looking towards growing in the next couple of years. Uh, Yamato Sanjaku Cucumber. Slice cucumbers, even uh, sour gherkin cucumbers, lemon cucumber, big variety of just these cucumbers alone. I really encourage you guys to explore these websites because the same thing holds true for all of the different categories of plants. They've got many varieties that I'm sure you guys have never heard of before. Moving on to our last online resource is going to be botanical interest. First impressions, if you look at the artwork on these seed packages, it's so beautiful. I love it. It really adds a unique touch to this company and website. They've got everything up here. The whole drop down menu on vegetables, flowers, herbs, organic, garden products, and then different articles and blogs. Looking at the vegetables, they have an entire heirloom section for you guys. If you bring this items per page to 72, they still got three pages of vegetables here at 72 items per page. So I'm sure you guys are going to get lost in these websites and the seeds. Before you know it, you're going to have an entire list of varieties that you've never heard of. You've done some research on them and concluded that you want to grow them in the garden. So I really hope you guys go out and do that. Try something new and experiment with your gardens and plants and um, grow some great unique varieties that a lot of your friends and family and other gardener friends have never heard of before. So you can make your garden even more unique with all of these websites that I put together for you guys. Thank you guys all so much for watching. You know, there's so much to be said about these special varieties of vegetables that can be grown. Um, I know there's a lot of people that lean on one side or the other of uh, heirloom or not heirloom varieties. And I just look at it this way. Like I said, people have been growing these things for hundreds of years. And for all we know, maybe even thousands of years, some of these, they have to come from somewhere, right? And so the, the older the lineage, I think the better, because we have trained our vegetables over time to produce fruit that is the same size, that doesn't have any defects, is easy for mass production. And that's a lot of the seeds that you're going to be getting in the store. With heirloom varieties, uh, you don't have that, but instead you have some really, really nutrient-dense vegetables, more so than the varieties that you can find uh, in, at your superstore and things like that. So that's why I really recommend going with these. I hope you guys have fun shopping this year. Let me know what special varieties and plants that you're growing in your garden. Uh, click this box right up here to move on to the next episode. We'll see you there and happy gardening.